Just want you to begin to say sweet things about God. Declare His mightiness. Declare His glory. Declare His power. Say great things about Him. You Death could not hold you down. Our wonderful God. Our merciful God. Our ancient of days. The lily of the valley, mine. Mine. the lion of the tribe of Judah, the, you are of mighty. Mighty. the prince of peace. You are mighty. You are mighty. He that was dead, but took his life and came back. The great I am. Oh, 
He said, I am that I am, a he, a sha, a he. That's the one we've come to meet this morning. He that speaks and it come to pass. Who is not a man that he should lie. He that does not change. We worship you. We bow before you this morning. We give you all that glory. We give you all the honor. You carry me. When to lift up your hands this morning and surrender to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want you to visualize who God is in your life. How wonderful he has been. How good he is. How wonderful he has been to us. yourself this morning acknowledge him I'm sure he's the king of kings and I'm sure he's the lord of your life we worship you we give you glory we give you honor in the name of Jesus for in Jesus name we worship in Jesus name we worship I want you to make that confession this morning and say, Jesus, you are the Lord of my life. Say, Jesus, 
you are the salvation of my life. I believe you died. I believe you were buried. And I believe on the third day, you rose up from dead for the salvation of my life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Bible said that as many that receive him, to them he gave power to be sons of God. And if you are a son of God this morning, everything that he has worked for is for you. Praise God. All the sufferings, all the beating, all the nails that went through his body, the piercing, the stripes, he did it for you. And that benefit you will repeat in Jesus' name. Yes, he suffered for us. And for a great reason that we might be reconciled back to God. I declare this morning, any power that is working against your salvation, it destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. The joy of salvation will fill your heart. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is a week of what? Week of Easter. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's have our seat briefly. Praise the Lord. After resurrection, there was a new beginning in human history. This morning, the Lord has declared that you are starting a new beginning in your life in Jesus' name. So there's a new beginning for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So the word he gave us this morning is the power of a new beginning. And uh, quickly, let's take our test from Isaiah chapter 43, from verse 14 to 21. Say, Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea. Okay, sorry, I'm starting from verse 16. Let me go back. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Say, for your sake, I will send to Babylon and bring them all down as fugitives, the Chaldeans who rejoice in their ship. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel. I'm your king. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who bring forth the, the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. They are extinguished, they are quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field will honor me. The jackals and the ostriches because I give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people my chosen, these people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise. Praise the living Jesus. 
Every one of us, I'm sure, we desire a new thing. With events that are happening recently, we are crying for a new change. We are crying for something better. We are crying for the best in our lives, in our environment, in our families, in all that concerns us, we want a new thing to happen. And when you desire the new thing should begin in your life, then that means there will be end of hopelessness. I say hopelessness has ended in your life in Jesus' name. That means you desire an end to a sinful life, a new beginning. You desire an end to helpless situations, weary and frustrating life. A new beginning is a time of a vibrant and existing life in Christ. You know, the Bible said that there are some things that are impossible with men, but it said, not with God, for with God, all things are possible. We are looking at a time when the desire of your heart will be granted, and that time is at hand. So behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it, that it will happen? And he said, I will even make a way in the wilderness, and I will spring up water in your deserts. You know, I, I read a short story about four short stories. There's a woman that was called May. This woman was happily preparing for her retirement time with her husband, husband of 35 years. And she went and was building all she had around her and her husband. And just about a few days to her retirement, her husband died. And this man continued to weep uncontrollably. All her plans of retirement to her got shattered. She was inconsolable. And she wished that it never happened. Praise God. Whatever you did not wish for yourself will not happen in your life in Jesus' name. You know, they say that men are not supposed to cry. I heard also of a story of Andrew, who was a strong man and was married for 50 years with three kids. And just the 16th year, the wife left him. Leaving him was not even the painful thing. The reason was because she found another man. And this man was broken. In fact, all the days of his life. That will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. The third story was Anne, who was doing well in her career. And she was setting up a business from the proceeds of her career. And at the time she thought she was going to get it right with herself, she was framed in her office. One, the job went. And apart from that, she was incarcerated for many years. Then the fourth one was Paul. Paul wept bitterly because the business empire that she has built, he built for his family, hoping that his family will come up to inherit just that he handed the business to one of his sons. 
and within two years, the whole business crumbled and went into debt. She did not forgive himself until he died. All her dreams and her hard work were gone. And these are people, some of them, they live their life hoping for a change. And the change never came. But what I'm saying is that your case will not be like this one that I have mentioned. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the situation that they are facing today, is it a collapse of business? Is it a loss of job? Or broken relationship, broken engagements? Or your, your or divorce? Your, your wife or your husband is threatening you with divorce? This morning, I want you to have faith in God. There's going to be a new beginning in that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 13b. It said that our God is faithful and he will not deny himself. If he has made a promise to you, he will fulfill it. Praise God. Yes, a word, it's a, it's a common word we say. It says that when there is life, there is hope. So we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to be confused about our future. God is always there for us. In Hebrews 13, verse 5, it said, I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Our hope and confidence we have in him cannot be in vain. This morning, God will release the power of a new beginning upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, that is his promise. In that Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19, he said, Behold, I will do a new thing. And when that new thing comes, all your past life, all your past sufferings, all your past denials, shall be forgotten. You will remember them no more. Your future is secured in Christ. Praise God. It said that there is a power to bounce back after you have suffered for a while. God is giving you that opportunity this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us look at Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. Proverbs 24, verse 16. I think it says that a righteous man falls seven times. 24, verse 16. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. For a just man, that's why how the Kingdom Bible say it. A just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into his mischief. There's a particular word in the scripture that each time I read it, I always want to search more. And that word is very prophetic. And the Lord is speaking it into your life this morning. And that word, I am prophesying it upon your life now. And that is, it shall come to pass. You know, when you hear the word that it shall come to pass, that means that God is about to do a new thing. It shall come to pass that all your enemies shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. What did I say? I said that it shall come to pass is a prophetic word. Because each time it comes forth, there is a new thing that God is about to do. And God is about to do a new thing in your life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. The promise of God upon your life shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass that all of a sudden your destiny shall arise and your enemies shall be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. You know, when the devil 
plan to terminate the plan of redemption. And he set up Judas. You know that this is the week of Judas. Everyone who goes about killing people with betrayal, your time is terminated in Jesus' name. And they, they arrested Jesus. And they killed him. And they buried him. And for three days, Satan and his demons were celebrating in their kingdom that they have killed the king of glory. Praise God. The joy of your enemy shall be terminated in Jesus' name. And you know what happened? The Bible said that having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them. And on the third day, Jesus appeared in their kingdom, and the foundation of their stronghold trembled. And before them, everything collapsed, and their master was arrested, and a chain was tied on his leg, tied on his hands and his legs, and he was dragged all through their city, all through their kingdom. That was the public shame. He went through disgrace. He was dishonored. All the glory that he tried to ascribe for himself was stripped off from him. Praise God. And the Bible said that as many that believe him, there's a new life. He said, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And from that day, Jesus handed the key of celebration, the key of liberty. The Bible recorded that many that were bound in the grave, people saw them walking on, on the street. They came back to life. All that the enemy had chained down in his kingdom. Anyone that the destiny had been chained down here, there shall be a new beginning in your life in Jesus' name. Because there's a victory, a victory that he fought for us on the cross of Calvary. Grave could not hold him. Death could not hold him. He triumphed over the, the strength of the enemy. A song, he said that, I can make it because Jesus made it. Praise God. Death could not hold him down. You will make it in Jesus' name. The word it shall come to pass shall manifest suddenly in your life in Jesus' name. It means that it's a prophetic word. I shall arrive. You will arrive in, G in Jesus' name. You know, it's a common saying here. Our pastor will always say it. Nobody has arrived, but your time is come in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall come to being. That thing that you're expecting will appear. It must come to pass in Jesus' name. It shall manifest. That thing that you're visualizing inside you, that imagination will take shape. In the name of Jesus, right now where you are, you shall have your last laugh over your enemies in Jesus' name. You know, do not allow the circumstances around you to become a setback for what God has prepared to do for you. Praise the name of Jesus. There's an opportunity for you to bounce back. I said there's an opportunity for you to bounce back. In the name of Jesus. You can't allow your problem to disturb your promotion. Your problem will never become your demotion. Why? Because at times some people will dwell, dwell so much on their situations. They dwell so much on their sicknesses. They dwell so much on their lack. They dwell so much on what is happening in Nigeria. You are different. Praise God. You are different. The Bible said that in him was life. And that light was the light of men. And that light shines in the darkness. 
and the darkness did not comprehend it. Satan and his cohort, they didn't know what happened to them. It came upon them suddenly. Light shines in their, in their kingdom. And all their powers, all their fun, all their strongholds crumbled. Any power that has been against your destiny shall crumble now in the name of Jesus. I said, receive the power to bounce back in the name of Jesus. Listen, your life is not in the hand of the oppressor. Your life is not in the hand of those who try to chain you down. You know, they, 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 they tie his hands, they tie his legs, and they bend his back, and they whip him. It was horrible. The enemy wanted to break him, for him to deny his identity. You know, after that, after they have ruffled him, they brought him out and said, are you the king of the Jews? All they did was for him to deny his identity. The one who holds the power of your life was not broken. His identity was not taken away from him. So there is no circumstance that can break you down. The one that divided the sea, he parted it into two with his arms, with his power. He said, with a strong east wind, he made a way in the sea. The glory and the way he made in the sea, that way it became a road of escape for the Israelites. But it became a grave to the enemy of the Israelites. Any power that tried to block your way, that way we bury them in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't allow any circumstances in your life to dictate what happens to you. No matter how terrible, no matter how uncomfortable it is, how gloomy it looks, you have the power to pull through. Allow it to catapult you into your next level. You, know, you might have lost things, but there is a God in the heavens who is called Jehovah Jireh, our El Shaddai, our sufficiency. In the Bible, you see that someone like David was a man who was broken, almost condemned. But God said, this is a man after my own heart. Because when the judgment came and they asked him, on whose hand would you like to be judged? And he looked around so that I'd rather fall into the hand of God Almighty. Praise God. And for that single decision, he was restored back. God will start a new beginning for you today in Jesus' name. Daniel was also threatened, even thrown into the lion's den. But in that place was the lion of the tribe of Judah with him. And he was not destroyed. I want to talk of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who was threatening for them to deny their identity. And the Bible said that the enemy said they should hit the fire, hit it more, let the fire become seven times fierce. You know, when, when the situation is becoming so much, that is when God appears. And what was their reply? We don't care whether God is able to save us or not, but we will not deny our God. And they were thrown into the fire. And the enemy looked at it and said, ha, did we not throw three people inside this fire? I see another person, and he is like the Son of God. The enemy will recognize the glory of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Jacob wrestled with the angels. And after, after the fight, the fight becomes so tough. And he said, please, lead me, let me go. And he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And he asked me, he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, no, you have denied that name before. 
that name is no longer suitable for you. And he was given a new beginning. He was given Israel. Israel became the 12 pillars of the nation of the people of God. God is going to strengthen your foundation this morning. In the name of Jesus. He's going to give you a new name in the name of Jesus. Allow what seems like your biggest battle to because your biggest thing that will make you bounce back. At the time, it's so difficult for you. English say when you're at your wit's end, no way to go, no forward, no backward, no, that is the time your decision will be most appropriate. Lift up your hands to heaven and say, Father, at the point where it is so difficult for me, come to my rescue in the mighty name of Jesus. Intervene in the mighty name of Jesus where I do not have where to go. Moses said to the Israelites, I said, look, the Israelites you see today, you shall see them no more. Go forward. That shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesied upon your life this morning. Whether the devil likes it or not, you will come back in the mighty name of Jesus. You will bounce back in Jesus' name. A new beginning for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said things will begin to happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. When you think begin to happen in your life, you see that God will reveal the darkest secret of success to you. The darkest secret of revelation to you. The darkest secret of your change will come your way. One of the problems we have is that we don't know who we are fighting against. From that day that Jesus triumphed over him, he had been stripped of his powers. He does not have power anymore. He said, I give unto you power. All power in heaven and earth have been given to me. And he said, that that same power I give to you. You have the power over the enemy. The victory has been won over 2,000 years ago. And no matter what is going on in your life, be in sickness, that the enemy can, the, the doctors have no diagnosis of. Be in situations that you find it very difficult to explain. God said, I will do a new thing. And it will spring forth. You won't even, you don't bother to find out how God is going to do it. He's going to perform it in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Impossibilities are rendered possible when God is ready to do a new thing. When he said it shall come to pass, everything that has been impossible in your life because we begin to be possible, your life will be easy. Praise God. It shall come to pass in your life that every enemy of your life shall be disgraced in your name of Jesus. I think I shall prophesy to you this morning. Your stubborn yokes are broken now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, there are some situations that are so stubborn. The Bible, you know, the, 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 the disciples went to Jesus and they said, how did we could not cast out this demon? And he said, look, these ones are difficult. Hmm? He said, this one might not go until you fast and pray. But with God, all things are possible. Every of those stubborn yoke that have held you down for years, that you keep coming back all the time to approach God. I said it has terminated this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. The strength of the enemy against your life, it blasted you to pieces now. In the mighty name of Jesus. That their foundation that they are holding on to, there shall be a shaking. And it will crumble. In the mighty name of Jesus. Evil gathering and association against you, they are shattered now. In the name of Jesus. Every high place is where they cry the motion to your life. is consumed now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. That strong man that is standing behind that altar and said that, that it shall come to pass will not come to pass in your life. Let fire consume it now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
every power in the air, on the land, in the sea that have been programming difficulties into your life. That power is consumed now in the mighty name of Jesus. All those diviners, the Bible said that no enchantment shall work against Jacob. Iniquity was not found in him. He is of the Lord. Every spoken word that has been pronounced into the air, let it return back to the speaker in the white wind in the mighty name of Jesus. The frustration that they have programmed against you. Oh, Marcus Santa Bosunturia. Those ones that are walking day and night. You know, there was a place in the Bible, they said that some people has conspired together and they said that we will not eat, neither are we going to sleep until we see Paul destroyed. But by the end of the day, their conspiracy failed. Every conspiracy in the dark, in the day, against your destiny, against your family, from the word of God, from coming past in your life, they shall be destroyed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God save confusion into their midst in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said that it shall not happen. Neither will it come to pass in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every dark fortress against you is so that blazed in the mighty name of Jesus. You will recover quickly in the name of Jesus. You will recover your wealth. You will recover your health. You will recover your finances. That situation has taken your confidence away. They couldn't take that thing away from Jesus. That confidence will return back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The strength that makes you laugh, the enemy will not take it away from you. In the name of Jesus, your life will get better. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say you shall bounce back. The enemy shall be amazed in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, what I mean is that you are getting back on your feet again. A new beginning. And when, you know, when the foundation is strong, the Bible said that let the rain fall and re let the rain beat it. Let the wind beat it. It will stand strong. Your foundation is threatened this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will get straight to overcome. Your spirit life is revived. In the name of Jesus. You know, there is power that creates, a creative power. There is power that energizes. That is the power of resurrection. And that is what we're experiencing this season. As Jesus came out of the grave and a new history was set for mankind, everything that has been buried in your life shall return back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. To give you a fresh start. You know, God is going to rewrite your story. He said, do not remember the former things, neither the things of the old. For behold, I will do a new thing. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, a royal priesthood. You know, kings don't beg. You are a king. You can decree what happens to you. You can change the situation surrounding you. You shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. God says, I will even make a way for you in the wilderness. So no matter how tough it is, brother, God is doing a new thing in your life. No ma the time of your failure does not matter. Your success is starting now. In the name of Jesus. The time of your denial does not matter. Everything that belongs to you being restored back to you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are talking of a consistent change. And not, not a new beginning of today and tomorrow you are coming down again. No. You are being established this morning with the foundation in the blood of Jesus. 
and nothing will be able to pull out of you in the mighty name of Jesus. All you need to do is to surrender yourself. Surrender. Surrender. He said that that light is the life of men. And as many who believe in him, he gave power to be called the sons of God. This thing might not take come to pass, might not happen in your life if you do not surrender to, to him. Let there be a witness in you that you are a son of God. He said, the spirit of God in you, be a witness that you are his children. When they cry against you, there shall be power to bear witness that you are a child of God. If you are not born again, there's no way that new thing happens. Praise God. No wonder they are succeeding in your life. Shun sin. If you expect a new beginning, then there's an end to sinful life. Stay permanently away from sin. There's a determination that God is giving you this morning. The determination to succeed. The tenacity to go forth and achieve your goals. I refuse demotion for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every war that the enemy has raged against you from your birth, this morning is a things of the old. A new beginning is coming forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. I want you to wave your, lift your hand to heaven and say, Father, every war that the enemy has waged against my life, that war they are defeated this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, fight for me in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that you will hold your peace and he will fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, I want you to be on our feet. Let the spirit of baptism, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, let it come upon me this morning. That's what will make a difference. That, will, that is what is going to make, bring a change to your life. The Bible said that if you are in Christ, you are a new creation. All things are passed away. Say, so behold, all things have become new. That word is going to be fulfilled in your life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. The new thing that God has promised you is going to come to pass in your life this morning. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, release your power upon me this morning. Let your spirit come upon me afresh. The power of a new beginning. The power of a new thing. Let it come upon me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it come upon me this morning. In the name of Jesus. Let it come upon me this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. Say, Father, by the power in this world, do a new thing in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do a new thing in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Change the course of my story. Rewrite my story, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. I shall not remember the former things. Neither will I continue to consider the things of old. For I know that you will do a new thing. My Lord, this morning and before you, O oh God, do a new thing in me. Do a new thing in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. A new thing. A new thing in my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a new thing in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do a new thing, O oh Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Father, every unconscious negative agreement that have tied me to the past and nullify this morning with the power and the blood of Jesus and nullify with the power and the blood of Jesus every negative agreement that have entered that have tied me continuously to the to, to all things I cancel it this morning and nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus and nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus and nullify it in the name of Jesus I 
are nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agreement that is walking contrary to my destiny, I cancel it this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. When a tree is deep rooted, it has a strong power to pull it down. The heavenly fire is coming down this morning. And every deep rooted evil that had denied you of your new change, if a change in your life, shall be uprooted this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, every evil root or stagnation that is working in my life, I cut it down this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil root, root of evil that is working stagnation in my life, that is standing strong against my moving forward, I cut it down this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I cut it down by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil root of the enemy standing strong against me, I cut you down by fire. I cut you down by fire. In the name of Jesus, I cut you down by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we worship you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, plant new things upon my life. Plant good things in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Plant great things in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of progression, the spirit of promotion, the spirit of possibility, plant it upon my life in the mighty name of Jesus. The victorious power, plant it in me in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of Newton, plant it upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Excellent power, plant it upon me in the name of Jesus. A new thing, a new thing, a new thing, plant it in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Power to excel, power to subdue. Power to overcome. Plant it in me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we worship you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh Lord, any power that has been planted against me that is projecting death that is projecting failure, that is projecting bitterness, I terminate you now in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I terminate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that the enemy has planted against my, my progress in life, projecting downward, projecting bitterness and failure, projecting tears upon tears, projecting disappointments, crashing of relationships, destroying marriage, and destroying the mighty name of Jesus, destroying businesses, and destroying the mighty name of Jesus, termination of appointments, and destroying the mighty name of Jesus, causing business failure, and terminating the mighty name of Jesus. All forms of failure, I terminate in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power weakening my health, I terminate in the mighty name of Jesus. Agent of death, agent of accidents, agent of calamities, I terminate oppression in the mighty name of Jesus. Agent of sorrow, I terminate oppression in the mighty name of Jesus.
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. When Satan and his cohorts were rejoicing at the death of Jesus, they didn't know what was coming upon them. Any gang that is rejoicing in your failure, calamity will suddenly come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that is saying that the word of God will not come to pass in your life, they will have all their strength is stripped of them in the mighty name of Jesus. The source of their power is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. The source of their strength is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, I receive power of divine acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive power for divine acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus. Upward, upward, shall I go in the name of Jesus. Forward ever, forward ever, divine acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree heels on your wheels on your heels in the mighty name of Jesus. Life will be easy. Go forth and begin to succeed. Begin to succeed in the name of Jesus. Begin to succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to succeed in the name of Jesus. Begin to succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, I shall arise. Oh, you will rise above your enemies in Jesus' name. You will excel above your peers in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father, the power of excellence come upon me now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Excellent spirit, come upon me now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The power of excellence, the power of wisdom and discernment, come upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. That was the difference between Solomon and the rest. The power of excellence. We bring a new thing upon your life in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power of excellence come upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we pray. I want you to raise your hand up. You are going to prophesy unto your entire system. Whatever you know that is not moving forward in your life, you will prophesy it now. Say, Father, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I bounce back in my business. I bounce back in my family. I bounce back in my ministry. My health is restored. I bounce back, begin to prophesy in your the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you know that is not working, more moving in your life, prophesy a new beginning and bounce back in the name of Jesus. Let there be a change. Let there be a new beginning in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Father. By the blood of Jesus, every of my imprisoned potentials, I set you loose now in the mighty name of Jesus. All my potential that have been imprisoned, I set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I set you loose in the name of Jesus. I set you loose in the mighty name of Jesus. I set you loose in the mighty name of Jesus. All my prison potentials, all my buried potentials, come back alive in the name of Jesus. Resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Your victory is sealed with the blood of Jesus. Your new beginning is sealed with the blood of Jesus. Power of resurrection will come upon you now. It will enter your body. It will enter your soul. It will enter your spirit. And there's going to be a new beginning in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to be a new beginning in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Finally, you're going to pray this prayer. Say, Father, the miracle that will multiply my joy, let it manifest now. In the mighty name of Jesus. That miracle that will multiply my joy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's grant our prayer, our prayer with just one song. Close your eyes. For what on me, Jesus. For what on me, Baba. For what on me, Jesus. For what on me, If you know it, sing it. Baba. Kai Mashiwa. Back on for what on me, oh, Baba, my Jenwa, back on for what on me, oh, he touched my life with his arm, my life changed. He touched my life, he touched my life in this hand. And my life became a new one. Jehovah he touched my life with this hand. We celebrate powers of resurrection once in a year until next year. This season will not pass you by just like that in Jesus' name. We are going to turn that song to the last prayer. There is no life God touch that remain the same. No life God touch. There are any of us, we need one touch here out of the other. We've had the message, you are going to talk to God. Where I need your touch, do not deny me by your mercy. The Bible says if the spirit that raised Jesus is upon us, whatever that is dead in us, tell God, touch me in this season as we are remembering the works of resurrection in every area of my life that I need my touch. Father, touch me now. Father, I'm praying for the needful touch that my life needed so that my life can be what it should be. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch me now. Touch my family, touch my wife, touch my children, touch my ministry. I need a touch. Part of the message we had is a new beginning. There is going to be a new beginning in my life when you touch me. The day you met Jacob, his name changed. It was a new beginning. No one you meet that remains the same. As we are remembering what you did, Father, touch me now. I believe you are praying. Touch me now. Do not let this season go just like that. Where I need your touch, that touch that will revolutionize my life. Father, touch me now. 
Everything in my life that is telling me impossible, when you touch it, it becomes possible. Everything in my life that only your thought can do, do not deny me of your thought. Father, touch me now. I cry for your touch. I pray for your touch. Every touch that my life needed, one touch from you can settle it. Father, touch me now. I believe you are praying. You better talk to God. This season will not go without a touch. I want this season to mark a turning point. I want to remember that I pray this prayer on when we are celebrating the, this Easter this year. 2022 must not be the same. Every touch that my life needed, touch me now. Touch my finances, touch my health, touch my life. I need a touch from you. Thank you, Father, because we know you have answered. If you know God have answered your prayer, in Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen three times. Amen. Amen. And we shall return with testimony. Dip your hand in your pocket and bring your offering. You know, we are conscious of time quickly. We still have some things to do. Raise it up unto God. Tell him I can never pay for what you have done. This is just a token of my appreciation. And I'm lifting it up to, to you and I'm asking that you sanctify, you will accept it and bless me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, for every hand that I have and doesn't have, let there be your touch in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We want to know you. We want to recognize you. Please just come and meet me where I am. Today is your first Tuesday service with us. Please come to this place where I'm standing. We want to recognize you. We want to fellowship with you. Just come over here. We want to know you. First Tuesday, come. Don't be shy. Thou shalt not be shy. We have faith there. First comma. Anybody coming for the first time? First comma. First comma. First comma. This is your first Tuesday service with us. Just come. The Lord loves you. We are celebrating the powers of resurrection. And I know your coming here will mark a turning point. You will witness it. You will witness it. Be on the line and face them. Uh -huh. Let the enemy only know you now. Are you shy? Eh? First comma. First comma. First comma. How are you? Praise the Lord. Testifier in the house. We want to testify. Just come to where I am. Our time is gone. So no stories, no singing of song. Come here. Uh -huh. Just go straight to your testimony. Straight to your testimony. Anybody? Testifier? First comma. You are first comma. Testifier. This is your glass. Don't no, make us see your face. Yo. There is no sun here. Remove it. Make me see your hand. Oh, okay. Praise the Lord. Just go straight to your testimony. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I've come to give all the glory to God this morning. I've come to give him the adoration. I've come to bless his holy name. Truly, God makes things beautiful at his own time. I bless his holy name for what he has done for me. For some time now, let me say for some years, I'm meant to travel out. And somehow, somewhere, you know, I don't know. The thing will just come and it will just slip off. And to God be the glory, this match, this past match, God made it possible in his own way. And I went to a strange land where I don't know anybody. God granted me, yes, to a strange country where I don't know anybody. And God granted me favor. I bless his holy name for all he has done. To him alone be the glory in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. I want to thank this almighty God because indeed he's a faithful God. In my life and my husband and my entire household, I want to bless the name of the almighty God for my daughter Faith. Honestly, I sit down and think everything about her. Everything about her happened on Tuesday and everything happened after compassion. Before she got admission to university, it happens on Tuesday. After you finish everything, we are believing God for you service. And we pray, even our call pastor, say, see what happened. Oh, he prayed for her. And uh, uh, 
This Tuesday, making it one month that she got her letter for you service, and it happened again on Tuesday. After I leave church here on Tuesday, I went to shop. She called me, mommy, my name is out for you service, but I don't know if I should cry or she rejoice. I said, what happened? He said, they posted me in Adamawa. I said, Adamawa, how hey, is it going to happen? How are we going to do it? But God, in his faithfulness, he did everything. The person that we believe, because when you put your trust in human beings, they will always fail you. But when you look unto God, he will do it in his own way. We call one of my husband, the brother, the one who work in UNS, uh, NYS, that one did everything. But before you know it, he could not work. They put said hand after Adam Awa. But when we prayed, after I leave you on that same Tuesday, I make just one call. The woman handled everything. Uh, when I call my third pastor, see what happened. Oh, he said they are going to post her in Ogu State. Lo and behold, after that orientation three weeks, they posted her in Ogu State. And this morning they came, being Tuesday, they are on their way to Ogu State where they post her. I give God the glory, the honor, the adoration, because it's not by man or by power, but by his grace. I say, may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, church. I am here to testify to the glory of God for what God has done in my life in this compassionate service. I have been attending this church far back from 2010 when I got married. And this church was introduced to me by one of my mommy who has relocated to US now. So anytime I have challenges, I will call my mommy and he will say, okay, let me talk to my pastor and pastor will join us in prayers and we'll pray. So fast forward to last year, I got pregnant and I didn't announce to anybody. Somebody that didn't know that I was pregnant at all just called me that she had a terrible dream that uh, during my, after my delivery that I gave up the ghost. So when I heard it, I was so shocked, I was afraid. So I started calling people that I know that can pray for me to join me in prayers. So I called out my mommy again. He said I should take daddy's pastor. I took the, the number and uh, daddy prayed for me on the phone. I came to compassionate service again. And during my uh, mass leave, before I gave birth, I started attending every Tuesday service where daddy would pray for me, anoint me, and assured me that God will do it. The last service I came here, because sometimes when I call some, my, for some of my sisters to pray for me, they will say, ah, they went to one garment church and the rest. So daddy prayed on that compassionate service that day that if you are here and uh, you are still going to another place for prayers, that means you are not sure of the God you are serving, that you should make a promise that you are not going anywhere again, except the name of this God that you'll be calling here. So that day I resolved that I will settle my case myself and pray and believe on this altar. So, Daddy anointed me the last service I came. When I was waiting to fall into labor and I did not, they called on me for cervical ripening. When I got there, everything about me was wrong. The doctors were just complaining, ah, what happened to you, madam? What happened to you? So on the day of that, my delivery, gong gong, when I was in labor room, I called Daddy, he prayed with me, and um, sent the word of God to me that I should be uh, rest assured that God will answer my prayers. So where I knew that God has perfected everything that concerns me was when I was in the labor room and a, a doctor was passing. That doctor wasn't on call at all. She just heard my voice and she just passed by that. She's interested in my case. So when I was about to deliver, I didn't even look at the person that was taking my delivery, one young doctor like that. As I delivered my baby, they said they cannot congratulate me yet that I should remain on the bed until they tell me, until they tell me congratulations. That was when the doctor that said she was interested in my case walked in. I was shouting at the doctor, do you want to kill this woman? Don't remove her placenta like that. Don't, stop it, she will bleed to death. That they did something like that to another person last week and the person died. So stop it now. And she said she, she was going to wait until they finish up with me. So she waited and they cleaned me up and they congratulated me for that safe delivery. Praise the Lord. Another angle that baffled me was this. The person that called me that they saw me that I died in the dream. Now called me after the delivery that, uh -uh, have you delivered? That was 30 minutes later, I said yes. She told me congratulations, that she's sure that I will be bleeding. I said, uh -uh. 
that I'm not bleeding. She said, is that, am I okay? I said, I'm perfectly okay, that God has delivered me safely. My baby is healthy, I am healthy. So for me to be sure, if I'm not bleeding, I had to run to the toilet again because she said maybe she saw me in the dream bleeding to death. And that was what the doctor said when they were about delivering me that uh, uh, if that doctor make mistake that we die by bleeding. So I would rush to the toilet to check myself. I was strong. I checked my under again. I saw that there wasn't blood. I said, God has delivered me holy. Praise the Lord. And my baby is a year old today. Shout hallelujah for me. Praise the living Jesus. Um, I just came here to thank God for my life. My life started transforming in compassion. I am a testimony of compassion. And I want the church to join me and just shout three hallelujah to the God who has made it possible for me to be alive today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! I want to thank God for what he's doing in my life. He has been so faithful. I thank God that I was having an issue with my former shop and I started searching for a shop since last year and it seems as if it was impossible because all the shop I was seeing, I was not okay with it. Even there are some of them, when I want to pay for it, I will be sad inside. So I refuse to pay. But daddy keep telling me, keep searching. The best place is coming for you. But I thank God because I told God before my birthday, I want to have a shop. And God did it miraculously. He gave me a shop. And day before yesterday, I moved into the new place. But devil wanted to raise an ugly head. Yesterday midnight, my husband dreamt that the spirit of death came into my house. But while the spirit was there, a big hand which, that is so white came from heaven, took the spirit and threw it far away. I give God the glory because I will not cry in my family. And I also thank God that this same month, the Lord is adding another year to that of my son. So both of us, the glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Spread for your hands, they have testified and magnified God. Thank God for their testimony, their wonderful testimony. All the glory goes to God who have been faithful in their life. So their testimony with the blood of Jesus and reject every plans of the enemy concerning this testimony. As they have come to magnify God, ask God that they have glorified to do a new thing in their life and to make their life beautiful again. Use them as a point of contact that as God has given them a testimony, we give you your own testimony. Thank you, Father, as we receive this testimony and seal it with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is Jesus' is life ministry and abode of peace, prayer, power, and prosperity. This is our interdenominational program. What we do here is we don't follow church protocols. Many churches are here. Many denominations are here. Muslims are even here. All we all do is to seek God through compassion and you've had its testimony. By the grace of God, the God of compassion will give you your own testimony in Jesus' name. We meet here every Tuesday within the hours of 8 and 10, except the first Tuesday when we come here for fasting, and we don't break it because we are starting the service by here, we close by 12. On first Tuesday, we seek the God of compassion for anointing and deliverance service. That's what happened last Tuesday, and we are trusting God that because you have now partake in today's service, the Lord will rewrite your destiny with his compassion in Jesus' name. So we welcome you. That's why I ask you to stay so that people can see your face. You are now part and parcel of yours. You are part of compassion member. The instruction of God is that nobody that comes for the first time should be allowed to go empty-handed. And that's why we have given you this Bible. It become a compassion Bible to open the compassion of God in your life in Jesus' name. Then God told us, first, I mean, first command should be given opportunity to ask God of compassion for just one thing. The way you will pray your prayer is, God of compassion, this is my first day. I'm asking you for this thing. Let it be the beginning of my testimony. Oh, yeah, close your eyes. Start your prayer. Yes, stretch out our hearts to them that the God of compassion will answer them. He will make their life beautiful. He's going to make their request answered to the glory of his holy name. Soak them and their request in the blood of Jesus, that their life will never be the same. 
never be the same. Henceforth, they will come back with testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. So we welcome you as we are wishing to be seeing your face again. You are free anywhere. There is no law, anybody. Even if you can sing, you want to sing, just come very early. When you get there before it, they will allow you to sing. Everybody is a worker, everybody is a member. The only thing is that you must be committed. The Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. You can go back to your seat. Leave a clap of you unto the Lord. Before we close this service, somebody shout hallelujah. Hello, Joko, madam. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh, Jere. Uh, somebody praise the Lord. Compassion people, praise the Lord. When we end, my AGO told you, when you come to church, hallelujah and amen. Don't let the devil hinder you from doing it in the church. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want to thank you for everything. I want you to pray one prayer. The challenges of life that will make me to look for help where I shouldn't go to. Let it never happen to me. I believe you are praying. They ch- Some of them, they are very oneness. They, are, they enjoy their marriage. But they find themselves in circumstances they least expected. And they all, some of them, they are off that, both of them and their husband, they suffer. And immediately the husband first finished and transferred or died. Some family took over the property and they are suffering. Telling the challenges of life that will naked me, the challenges of life that will cause me to be saying, I didn't be, let it never ever happen to me. Let it never happen to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want to pray for you. You will not sorrow. Yeah. Ah, okay, I will not sorrow. Yeah. I said you will not sorrow. Yeah. I want to beg you in the name of God in this time, be very, very careful. Politicians are looking for rituals. Politicians are looking for what? Rituals. Be very, very careful. Be conscious of your well being before you think of what you will eat. I beg you. I was somewhere some three days ago, and I was driving, and I saw some money. You know, they stop us by uh, this traffic light, and I saw some money on the ground. And uh, I was seeing some youth, they were just coming with the gear, and they were just, and immediately saw the money, look right, look right, and nobody saw it. And he just, like this, he just picked the money, and I'm telling you, the boy just vanished. And immediately the boy vanished, the traffic light, more. I was watching. The guy was saying, where is he, where is he? Praise the Lord. Who is the one that did that boy now? Hello? You will not pick what will destroy you in Jesus' name. I prophesy into your life, the devil will not use you as a scapegoat. What will happen in your life that you will take steps that will make God unhappy with you, you will never take that step in Jesus' name. And as pastor, I prophesy to us this morning, this prophecy will not elude the manifestation in your life in Jesus' name. This season will make him part in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I want to pray one prayer for all of us. It's the theme for the year. I decree into your life, violence shall no longer be had in your life. Violence shall no longer be had in your marriage. Violence shall no longer be had in your family. Violence shall no longer be had in your business. Everything called violence, physical, spiritual, financial, material, you will never see it again in the name of Jesus. Wasting and destruction will not be the borders of your family. Everything that pertains to you, devourer, wasting, and destruction, no matter what is happening there, it will not be your own portion in the name of Jesus. But as a child of God, as a redeemer of the Lord, your finances, your material life, your physical life, your mat- uh, matrimonial life, every walls of every department of your life, the salvation of God shall be mentioned there in Jesus' name. The Bible says, with joy we will draw water from the wells of salvation. In every facet of your life, everything about you, we speak of the salvation of Christ in the name of Jesus. 
And because of all this salvation that you'll be experiencing, you will come back with praise to God. Testimony will never expire in your life in Jesus' name. Surely, the goodness of God will reign in your life. You will never be put to shame. You will never be put to shame. Your helper will not deny to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I've had a lot of testimony this past few days. And like testify I was saying, a lot of packages Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Daddy, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we are here and we are in the seasons of Easter, give us a testimony today in Jesus' name. The significant impact of the compassion you have for mankind is exemplified in Jesus Christ. Let it bring forth a testimony today. Something unique in our life in Jesus' name. Thank you because you have answered us. Let's share the grace together and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. God's goodness and mercy and favor will follow and abide with us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Tell your neighbor, Jesus loves you. Obey God. Live a holy life. And tell your neighbor, violence shall no longer be had in your land. Neither wasting, nor destruction within your borders. But we shall call your wars. Every wars of your life, we shall call your wars the salvations of the Lord, and your gate will be full of praises. Compassion people shout hallelujah. See you next Tuesday with testimony in Jesus' name.